Hi everybody, my name is Isa and this is Moody Eye Makeup channel. Today I'm gonna try some new stuff from Catrice and if you're interested in this video then please keep on watching but before don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So the first product that I'm really curious about is Blush Affair Liquid Blush in the shade Velvet Rose. And you're supposed to shake it, um, so let's do that. They have like four of, or five different shades and I'm really not sure how to apply it. So I'm just gonna use uh, my beauty blender. I think this is the safest bet. So I'm just... Okay, so what happened <laughs> was that it kind of you can see sunk into the sponge just like in a little dot and now I'm just like dotting myself um, so I'm just gonna try to use brush instead I think it would be better I'm just gonna show you the consistency it's a very interesting one very sheer very liquidy but it doesn't feel dry at all it kind of feels almost like a very sheer thin gloss okay, so i'm tapping on the shade with my brush now i really like the color of this blush i think it's very pretty so what i'm seeing right now is that it's very easy to blend out it has a really nice finish so it's not matte it's not too balmy or glossy but it gives you that nice healthy looking skin which i really like is it a little bit patchy or not maybe it's like around here that i feel that the pigment didn't adhere so i'm just gonna add a little bit more for you to see the shade a little bit better so i'm just adding more can you see this patch right here? Maybe this is my fault because I've used soft glam filter before on this part. So that's maybe just my fault. And I've applied way too much. But I really wanted you to see the true shade. I think that's just my fault right there. So um, yeah, I'm liking, I'm actually liking the formula i should probably go for a little bit more of a like a pinky shade it would suit me better it this one it's maybe more for medium skin tones but at the same time if i use a little bit less it works just fine that's quite impressive so i like this kind of a packaging i think this is the best packaging from catrice so far it's not too sugary if you know what i mean it's not very teenagery um it feels like a proper makeup brand with this kind of packaging um also i would say that it matches the shade of a blush which is very important and yeah i'm going to see how it wears i need to use it a couple of times to really set my mind on what i think i'm going to report back to you as always so let's move on to the next one. This one is quite interesting. So they released some liquid eyeshadows and I really wanted to buy all of them just for the sake of this video, for helping you to choose. But I was quite annoyed because the packaging didn't match the shade inside it was a completely different color like from the outside from the packaging the shades looked really pastely very bright nice but then when i swatched them they were so darker and moodier so i didn't pick any of those but I picked this one glossy glam transparent liquid eyeshadow for a glossy finish I think this is quite interesting for a drugstore brand to release this kind of a 
product. And with glossy, transparent liquid eyeshadows, it's inevitable to crease, to crease like hell. It's just for the effect of, for a photography or a video, a short video, but otherwise you cannot wear it throughout the day. But I really want to try it anyway. I think that's a very interesting product that can be fun to use. It's nice to get it for a very affordable price, but of course you can always just add a, a clear gloss on top of eyeshadow. It has a doe foot applicator, as you can see. So it's like an oil. Uh, it's not as glossy as it's like a lip oil. But before I apply glossy eyeshadow, Beatrice released these single eyeshadows that are duochromes, I believe. Uh, so I've picked one because, I mean, I don't need all of them. And also I want to first see if they are any good. So this is a Space Glam Chrome Eyeshadow in the shade Moonlight Glow. It's It has like a gold green and I would, I would even say that I see a hint of blue. It feels really smooth and like really buttery. So I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelid. I don't have anything on so we can really see how this one looks. But that's quite impressive for Catrice. That's really nice. Of course I'm using my fingers, that's the best way to really get the full potential of the eyeshadow. So that's really, really nice. I'm so, so impressed with Catrice right now. This is the best eyeshadow formula from them that I have ever tried because if you're watching my videos then you know that I don't like their eyeshadows for most of the time. I like Catrice for other stuff. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to try the glossy eyeshadow. And so I'm not going to ruin my whole tube. I'm just gonna apply it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to use a brush and I'm just gonna use it in the center of my eyelids. So you can see that I'm like right away taking down the eyeshadow that I had. That's just the nature of oily products. Now let's try to use it on its own just for the glossy finish but I have eyeshadow primer underneath so you get that effect of like wet oily eyelids also you can see here that I've got like a completely different finish it's more oily more wet looking but of course it's going to like crease like it's already creasing and of course um, it's going to like this the product underneath. That's uh, like with all of these kind of products, it's nothing different. I just feel that this one is a little bit more oily than the ones that I've tried before. For, for the sake of this video, let's try it on the lips. I would use this one for my lips. This is like a really, really thin lip oil. I like it. It's very, very shiny and I prefer it as <laughs> this. So I'm just gonna take down these because I cannot wear that. Okay, and the last product, it's Melt and Shine Juicy Lip Balm. Um, and it's in the shade Sunny Side Up, I believe. I chosen the darkest one just to get uh, at least some pigment and I think they are trying to like dupe the ones from Tarte. I have never tried those ones so I don't have any clue. I cannot compare the two. Packaging for me it's totally childish <laughs> and they are probably targeting very young, young people, youngsters with these okay so but anyhow let's try it out okay so it has you can see it has a bit of a pigment but i've really bought the darkest shade more that you are applying it more it's melting which is a good thing i like the shade quite a lot it feels really 
nice on the lips. I have very dry lips and I'm a little bit picky with lip balms. They can be very creamy or very thick but they are actually drying. I feel that these are moisturizing so that's nice. They are easy to use. They are not very pigmented but yeah I would say this is like a nice lip balm but I wouldn't go as far as saying it it's a great product so that's the last product please give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do so and see you in my next video have a lovely day bye